Okay, what you saying people and welcome back to another weekly Forex analysis. And before we get into this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also leave a like, that is all appreciated. And also whilst you're at it, join me on my Telegram channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So I'll be posting a lot of different trading setups throughout the week and you don't want to be missing out on that. But like I said, we've got another weekly Forex analysis. So let me stop talking and let's get into it. Up first, we have Euro USD. Okay, so for Euro USD on the daily chart, um, you can see we finally had a move to the downside. The price was moving sideways for quite a few days, and we finally broke out um, of that pattern. You can see these were two levels. We were saying that we were expecting price to break out to the downside, um, but all if we see price going break through the resistance, we do expect price to go higher. Uh, but as you can see, we finally had that break to the downside, and uh, price looks like it's very bearish now on Euro USD. And probably could be expecting that to continue further um, there could be a scenario where we're coming back to retest um, previous uh, support now resistance for us as you can see here previous support so it could be a case we'll come back up to test that as resistance before we continue to the downside that well that could well possibly be happening or we could see price just continue bearish and continue a lot lower um, with the price action going on now it's still looking very bearish you could probably see that continue a lot further um, but we do have to be careful of this trend line if we go to the monthly chart you can see this is a monthly trend line all the way back since 2008 so we've got a test there test there and a couple tests there so we could be seeing this trend line now at the support and see uh, price resume off that trend line and continue to the upside as you can see we don't have actually broken through the trend line so we could potentially be seeing a new trend in the market to the upside on the monthly time frame on the higher time frames uh, so you have to be careful of that but if we see price continue and break through that trend line we're probably expecting price to come and test this area of the market here as you can see on the weekly time frame previous resistance for us there push the downside resistance again push the downside resistance again push the downside so now we expect this area to act as support and of course we've got the 200 moving average on the weekly as well so we could be seeing price get attracted to this area before we see uh, a move back to the upside so that's what we're expecting for uh, euro usd but that's only if you go and break that trend line and um, that trend line um, doesn't add that support for us um, so ultimately expecting euro usd to continue further could possibly watch for entries if we have a pullback to um, the previous support in the market now term resistance so if we get a pullback there could be looking for entries but ultimately we're expecting this to continue we're going to watch out for that trend line and if we do break through expecting prices to come test this area of the market here now let's take a look at usd jpy okay so for usd jpy on the daily chart you can clearly see we had a reaction to the upside this week um and you can see previously acting as support for us here push the upside and again push the upside and on the weekly time frame you can see why we're having that very strong area of support um again a reaction at that same level push the upside a wick rejection to the upside another push another push so again very strong place in the market where you do expect to see some reversals happening and it looks like we could potentially be having a double bottom on the daily chart so again we could be seeing uh, a longer move to the upside for ucjby potentially to go and test our uh, daily trend line we've got in the market here as you can see previously test there the test there and a the test there so we could be looking for a fourth test of that trend line but obviously before we get to that trend line we need to break through um, this trend line here first um, which price could be easily reversed um, at this trend line and let's go and test our uh, support level again if you do see price go and break that trend line then that's the, that's the place where we're expecting price to head to and then if you go and break that trend line we've got a weekly trend line that we want to see price head to um, before we see any major reversals in the market as you can see previous uh, resistance for us there on the trend line resistance again resistance again so it could be a case we're looking to see another move to go and test um, that trend line again but of course we've got um, other trend lines that the price needs to go and break first before we see that move um, and price could easily be reversed at any, any one of them so it'd be interesting to see what we get when price reacts with this trend line here so again if you see a break and a retest you'll be looking to go long in the market there as we're getting some nice double bottom uh, pattern coming into the market and you could be looking to target the next trend line and then if you go look to see and um, break that trend line we'll possibly look to go and test uh, the weekly trend line out there um, so that's what we're expecting for UCJPY but if price size decides to reverse and break through this uh, support in the market you could definitely be seeing a longer move to the downside 
uh, for UCJPY. Then again, you could be looking for the retest of this area in the market here. Watch the break, retesting, you can look for short entries there uh, for UCJPY. But for now, we're framing UCJPY to continue to the upside and to see if we can break through this um, daily trend line here. And if we do, we're expecting it to continue to the next one. Let's take a look at USD CAT. Okay, so we use the CAD on the daily chart. You can see we finally had a push to the upside in the market. Price found some support here. And we had a nice push to the upside. And if I drag this along, you can see why. Again, previous support for us here in the market. Again here, and again here with that big push. So again, when we come up to that same area, you do expect it to act um, as support for us. And you can see we're having that swing to the upside. On the weekly chart, we are coming up to some uh, resistance in the market. As you can see here, if I drag this along, Previous support here, again doji again there, bit of indecision at that same level and then we're back testing it, er testing that area again. So you do expect it to have the resistance. Now we are still looking bullish so we could easily see price continue to the upside and break through this level. And if that's the case, we'll be looking to go long on the retest because uh, now that will then act as support for us. But if we do see price start to reverse and um, give us a more bearish price action, and then start to have a move to the downside you could be looking for uh, short entries as um, there's a high chance that we could be seeing that used the CAD downtrend continuing further and um, continuing to the downside um, if this was just not a pullback um, but if this was um, a start of a new trend we do expect price to go and break that level and then again you could be looking for longs on the shorter time frames like the 4H and the hourly uh, to go long um, on the retest of the same level but for now, the, that is the decisive area we're going to be looking at. If price uh, fails to break it, then again, we could probably be looking for shorts as price uh, goes lower. But if you do see price break it, again, expecting price to continue a lot higher, and we'll be looking for longs in USD CAD. Now, let's see what's happening with Euro GBP. Okay, so for Euro GBP on the daily chart, you can see we're going to move to the downside from this area in the market here. And if I move this along and jump to the weekly chart, you can see why. Uh, we're at a very strong area of resistance in the market. Again, this is the weekly chart. Again, test there, push the downside. Another test, push the downside again and again. So we're expecting that to remain and have a push to the downside again. Um, we do have um, some support in the market around here on the weekly time frame. Uh, as you can see, price has had a bit of trouble breaking through that area. Again, you can see here previous resistance break through it again. So yeah, you expect it to act as support. And that's exactly what's happening in the market there. So if you see price go and break through that area next week, and we do expecting price to continue uh, lower and um, have a better rejection from that weekly resistance. So next week, if you see price break through it, give us a retest, we can be looking to go short um, again. But if you see price uh, hold at this area and then you could potentially see price uh, go higher again and back to go and test that weekly, um, that same weekly resistance. In that case, again, we'll be looking to go short at that weekly resistance because as of yet, we, don't be, we won't be expecting price to go and break that area just because how significant it is. So next week, we'll be keeping our eye out at this level here to see if price breaks it, and then we can be looking to go short. But if price comes back and retest it, that's completely fine as well. And we'll look to go short there as well. But for me, I don't see your GP pushing on much higher. So we won't be looking to go long in this market at all. Next up, we have AUD USD. Okay, so for AUD USD on the daily chart, you can see we had a big swing to the downside. Um, as price went and broke our daily trend line that we drew. Um, as you can see, price has been respecting this trend line quite well for some time, and we're expecting to see um, finally a swing to the downside as price goes and breaks um, this trend line. And you can see that this week we had that swing and a nice push to the downside. Um, on the weekly chart, you can see a little bit better of that big bearish candle, but we are coming up to some support in the market. As you can see here previously, a resistance big move to the downside again resistance move to the downside so now we expect it as a support so we could potentially be seeing price um, have another move to the upside as we have a retrace from that bearish move that we just had and you do expect to see some retrace in the market after um, those consecutive bear candles on the daily chart and that big um, candle on the weekly chart as well um, but we are still looking bearish so ultimately you can see price break through that area and then that same area would then act as resistance for us and if that's the case we can be looking to catch um, and some nice bearish moves as price goes and retest it um, for resistance okay let's go short i continue that um, move to the downside but then again if we don't um, look to break this uh, next week and we look to hold we could potentially be looking to 
um, take advantage of the retrace on the lower time frames like the 4H and the hourly as price uh, goes to find some resistance to continue on this move. Um, so again, we need to be open to both sides. So again, we'll be looking at this area of the market uh, next week, potentially looking to um, grab, some pitch, grab some pips on the move to the upside, but then again, be aware that we could potentially go and break the same area as well. Now we're gonna move on to NZD CAD. Okay, so NZD CAD on the daily chart, you can see we recently had a move to the downside um, to this area in the market here, previous support, acting as support again in the market. Um, as for direction in this market, we jump to the monthly time frame, then we draw our trend line in. You can see we are on a downtrend in market here. Market is definitely making those lower highs and those lower lows. You can see many touches of this trend line. Recently, we're having another one as this month tried to break above the trend line and got rejected and it looks like it's going to close um, below uh, that trend line even though the month's not quite finished yet um, but um, as of yet it does look like it's going to close below the trend line so we could potentially be seeing another swing to the downside from a monthly perspective and seeing um, price um, starting a nice downtrend in the market on the weekly again you can see price breaking above and breaking back below testing that 200 trend line 200 moving average as well um, so again uh, if we see price go and break the support area on the daily chart, we're expecting price to continue lower and potentially go and test this area again. So if we see price break below, we're looking for a retest of this same area, which will now act as resistance for us. And then we'll look to carry on that move to the downside, potentially go and testing uh, the lows down here. So for NZD CAD, we're expecting a move lower. If we do get a move higher, again, we'll still be looking for shorts in the market. Um, if you go and test that trend line again or some recent highs, we'll be definitely be looking for shorts. Um, but expecting NZD CAD to move lower. And again, if you see a retest of this area, could be looking for shorts in the market there as well on the lower time frames like the 4H or the hourly. Next, we're going to take a look at GBP NZD. Okay, so for GBP NZD on the daily chart, you can see we had clear support in the market here. Um, previous support here, moved the upside, came back to retest it again. Um, acting as support for us, a nice move to the upside. And you can expect that um, very strong support area. We also came to test a monthly trend line. Um, if I draw it in like so, you can see uh, we had price come back to retest it again. We had multiple tests of this trend line. We had four down here, a couple there, and we've recently tested it twice again. So if price respects the trend line, we could be seeing another swing to the upside, potentially go and test these highs again. Or if we see price come back and break this trend line, we'll expect to see a longer swing to the downside for GPNZD. As you can see, if I zoom out, the overall trend of this market is definitely to the downside. So we do see a break of the trend line there. That's where it's we're expecting price to go but for now we are respecting the trend line quite well in the weekly time frame as you can see strong bullish candles to the upside the momentum has definitely shifted from that area we will probably see that continue higher for gpnzd again for entries looking for the pullback and expecting this one to go higher our next target is probably the 200 moving average on the daily chart and we see uh, price go higher if we come back again to retest the same area in the trend line that would be fine as well we be again looking for buys there um at that same place in the market previous support again trend line we'll still expect to hold so we began we're looking for buys but for now we're still looking quite bullish on the daily expecting that to continue so again be looking for pullbacks and try and uh, ride the market up to go and hit that 200 moving average let's take a look at cad jpy okay so cad jpy on the daily chart you can clearly see we had a nice move to the downside um in the past few days we found some support here in the market but also we found some resistance as well as price is just moving sideways for the past few days uh, we do have this trend line here in the market um, which i was talking about recently uh, previous support here again support there again with the false breakout support there again and you can see we actually broken through that trend line and now it's acting as resistance so if that uh, trend line holds potentially see price going to make a lower low and continue with that bearish uh, downtrend in the market and as you can see in the weekly time frame we are on a downtrend in market here price is definitely making those lower highs and those lower lows so potentially we can see uh, a lower high at the market there with that double top on the daily time frame and um, now price continues to the downside um, if that trend line holds uh, as resistance if we see price break above um, the trend line and start to trend above it then potentially you can see price continue to the upside and then give us another swing um, potentially to go and test that weekly trend line that i've just drawn in um, as you can see here potentially go and test that trend line again uh, so again the trend line is what we're going to be looking at um, for this week if you see price break above we'll be looking for 
Cal JPY to give us another swing, but if we don't and it remains a resistance, probably expecting Cal JPY to continue to the downside and continue on that bearish trend. Now let's see what's happening with GBP USD. Okay, so for GBP USD on the daily chart, you can see that this week we had another move to the downside, testing again our 200 moving average and this support area in the market here. Um, as you can see, um, if I zoom out a little bit, previous support in the market here pushed the upside resistance again and um, again it's acting as support for us so if, if price um, holds at this area potentially see another swing to the upside again we've got the confluence of the 200 moving averages there as well acting as support so potentially see another swing to the upside for GBP USD if you go to the higher time frames like the weekly and the monthly you can see we are trending to the downside um, in this market as you can see Price is definitely making those lower lows and those lower highs. We have this trend line drawn in for GPUSD um, on the weekly chart. You can see we actually have price break out that trend line and close back inside of it. Uh, so potentially could be seeing price swing back up to go and retest that same trend line. But if we see price go and break this level here, we'd definitely be expecting price to go lower for GPUSD. Wait for the retest of the same level and expect price uh, to go lower. Um, we did have this uh, trend line on the daily chart, as you can see, um, couple tests of this trend line now we're breaking um, below it it acted as resistance for us there and uh, we could potentially be seeing this downtrend continue a lot further for GBUSD but um, then again I'm looking at that same level uh, that we did last week this level just here to see whether we're looking bullish or bearish for GBUSD so if you do hold at this level and get swings to the upside probably expecting that to continue but if you see price break below and then test it again at resistance probably expecting that bearish trend to continue further so that's what we'll be looking for GP USD um, to see if we get a break of this level or if we get a nice swing to the upside and last we have GBP CAD okay so for GBP CAD on the daily chart you can see recently had a move to the downside on the daily chart and then in the recent few days we had um, price found this area in the market out against support and had a push to the upside now um, in the recent price action we're kind of um, stuck between a couple levels here as I'm joining in here, um, you can see acting as resistance up there, acting as support down there, and prices kind of stuck between these two levels. So again, as for direction for GBCAD, it's not the clearest, um, uh, clearest set out uh, for GBCAD. If you go to the higher time frames, we do have a nice uh, downtrending um, trend line in the market, like so. As you can see, numerous tests of this trend line, prices are respecting it very well and keeping us um, slightly to the downside this trend line and you can see recently on the test of that trend line giving us that move to the downside so if you see price go and take out this low um, on the weekly chart we'd definitely be expecting price to go a lot further to the downside and give us a nice bearish uh, bearish move to the downside but we could be testing um, our monthly trend line um, which is drawn in like so as you can see numerous tests of the monthly trend line and if you see price going break below our weekly level there that's what we're expecting price to go to but if we see price hold potentially could we get another move to go and test our trend line again and um, break through this area of resistance that was stuck below so again not the clearest opportunity with uh, GP CAD if you see price break below this level again you can be looking for your shorts if we have a nice retest um, of the resistance uh, which was formerly support and again if you see price break above this area here then we can be looking for longs as price uh, makes its way up to go and test that trend line again so that's what we'll be looking for for gb cad for next week okay so that brings us to the end of the video so thank you for joining me if you enjoyed it make sure you hit the subscribe button and also leave a like that's all appreciated if you agree or disagree with me make sure you leave a comment and i'll get back to you but till the next one i'll see you later